Hi, I'm Phil from 1Password. Today we have some exciting news to share regarding secure development and agentic coding tools. Credential theft is a huge problem right now, and we at 1Password are working hard on providing tools that make sharing secrets within Teams simple and secure. We recently introduced 1Password environments to help developers and teams keep secrets out of their Git repos. Today, we are focusing on how teams work together within agentic coding tools like Cursor. Cursor recently introduced a feature called Hooks, and today we are releasing our 1Password hook for Cursor. The goal of this hook is to ensure that the correct environment files are available before working within Cursor. This helps teams further maintain consistency across projects and limits the potential leaking of sensitive information to agentic coding tools. This means no more plain text keys being committed to disk, no hard-coded tokens, and no long-lived secrets. In this quick demo, I'm going to show you how the new 1Password hook for Cursor helps your project ensure that the right environment file is con properly configured before the agent executes a command. Here you see a project where the 1Password hook has been set up. See the new .1Password folder? This is where you will configure access and ensure that the different environments needed for the project are present before execution. This is optional for projects with only a single .env file. Here we see a TOML file defining environments required for this project. We have two endpoints. Our billing.env defines our development Stripe API key. The application.env defines our general project keys for platforms like AWS, Azure, or Google. When Cursor's agent attempts to run a command, the 1Password hook helps ensure that the correct environment files are mounted before execution. Let's say you forgot to enable the 1Password environment. You'll get an error message from the coding agent with the next steps for how to correct the setup. This really helps with new developers being onboarded to a project. Here you see the 1Password hook that is required for the cursor integration. Just commit this hook and the .1Password directory along with the TOML file configured in your project and share it with the team. Optionally, you can configure hooks at the project level, user level, or even global level through Cursor. Now, let's go ahead and see it in action. I'm going to ask the Cursor agent to debug my script. There is an error with this script, so please run it and try to fix it. I've intentionally disabled the billing.env environment endpoint from within 1Password. See how Cursor has used the 1Password hook to detect the absence of this billing.env file? Now we enable the missing environment and run it again. Success! Cursor's agent was able to proceed given the 1Password environment hook requirements found in the TOML file. By adopting 1Password environments hook for Cursor, you are able to reduce exposure to prompt injection aimed at credential collection, ensuring the proper development information is present. You're able to eliminate the risk of credential leakage, meaning no more plain text secrets floating around in config files. Credentials are stored centrally and fetched securely during the cursor agent runtime. You are able to bridge management with AI workflows seamlessly. Developers get the benefit of AI-assisted coding and automation without sacrificing security or compliance. You enable reproducible, secure team workflows because hook configurations and secret references can be version controlled, obviously without the values, Teams can share setups without risking exposure, lowering onboarding friction, and reducing manual secret handling. All team members will now be on the same configuration with Cursor, and should a new team member arrive, they can then use the coding agent to help get them set up. This works today on Mac and Linux. Head on over to developer.1password.com to learn more about how to get started. Tell us what you think and share your experiences over on the 1Password community. And as always, happy coding.